Hi there, it is Gushan. I hope you are having a great day today. Today I am going to talk about one of the severe and common problems encountered in centrifugal compressors, which is called surge. I am going to explain what it is and how it happens and how it can be prevented with different case scenarios. So this unstable event is called surge and it happens in a fraction of a second and when it does, the pressure rapidly starts fluctuating, excessive radial vibration and banging sound is generated, temperature starts to rapidly increase causing equipment to overheat. And if not prevented in time, this can lead to creating abnormally high loads on internal parts of the compressor and eventually ends up with catastrophic failure of the whole equipment. And when it happens, let's look at the compressor performance curve, where we can see a surge point for every speed which are drawn collectively as a surge line. So, the surge point indicates the minimum capacity that the compressor is able to deliver stable operation. And this is actually the minimum theoretically operable point of the flow rate, but we always take some margin. So, the unstable operation, the surge cycle starts when we fall behind this surge line. To put it another way, surge happens when we have very low gas flow rate in the compressor suction line. So this minimum gas flow does not fill the impellers fully, so the compressor is not able to displace the amount of gas trapped inside the compressor, and so the flow, instead of going to discharge piping section, it experiences reversals and goes back to fill the empty impellers, and again compressor tries to deliver it to discharge line, and the same process repeats itself again and again. The reason behind these flow reversals is that the pressure in the discharge piping section is higher than the pressure in the compressor section and the compressor performance does not meet the discharge requirements. As surge happens in a fraction of a second, we need to have a fast-acting surge control system in place to prevent mechanical damage to the equipment. And the quickest way to eliminate surge is to rapidly reduce the pressure buildup in the discharge line by opening a blow off valve installed in the discharge piping. But as the blowing off is wasting of expensive process fluid, mostly recycling is preferred and carried out through recycle line, which is also called anti surge line, with installed anti surge control valve on it. So let's now look at one example where we use split range control system. So in this example, the mixture is separated into gas and liquid fractions in the separator. And then the separated gas goes through the cooler and the gas scrubber where the minor amount of condensed liquid is separated. And then the dry gas uh, enters the compressor and then compressed gas flows downstream. We have here a split range anti surge control system, which includes um, two control elements, uh, two control valves to manipulate two variables, the compressor speed and flow rate in anti surge line. So let's say the pressure at the discharge of the separator drops. Uh, so in order to prevent surge in the compressor and also to keep the separator operating pressure at desired range, the anti-surge control system activates. So uh, it should be noted here that the anti-surge control system does not only serve to control surge in the downstream compressor, but it also controls the pressure in the upstream equipment. So here we can see splitted signals. So um, uh, to some point, for example, uh, in this case, uh, till 70% uh, of flow decrease, the control system changes the compressor speed. Here, in order to do so, it controls um, here, decrease the steam flow rate to the compressor turbine. So if the uh, pressure further decreases uh, below 70%, then control system additionally opens the anti-surge valve and recycles the discharge fluid in order to pressurize the suction line. So this is one example where we employ split range control in anti-surge control system. 
Now let's look at another example where we employ override control. To recall, override control involves selection between two controller output signals where only one controller gets the opportunity to control a process and the other one does overridden by the selected controller. And in this scenario, there are two controllers uh, at the compressor suction and discharge lines. And here we have two things we're trying to control, but only one manipulated variable on the search flow rate. Let's imagine pressure in the suction line decreases um, and the pressure in the discharge line increases somehow, caused by other disturbances. So the discharge controller uh, requires X percent opening in the anti-surge control valve, while suction controller requires Y percent. So here the override system, uh, in this case the low selector, uh, select the lowest error, considers the worst case scenario, and eventually satisfies the both controllers. And apart from these two scenarios, you can also see the combination of the first and second scenarios together and many other industrial examples as well. So that's it from my side for today about anti-surge control in centrifugal compressors. I hope you liked this and learned something new. Please feel free to write your comments and ask your questions if you have any. And please keep learning and sharing and have a nice day.